Exactly. Out of all those girls, I knew what I wanted. I was authentic, and I had the balls to come up, look her in the eyes, and be like, that's like love at first sight. That's like, I don't care about all these people. I saw you, and I was like, wow, I had to meet you. That is what they crave. And if you give women that magical movie moment by approaching and facing your fear and actually come up to her, you're, you're doing something that 99.9% .9 of men will never, ever do. And this, this creates a, imagine the story a girl goes and tells her friends. Can you imagine this? Yeah, I was just, uh, you know, I was sitting in a, in a eating in a restaurant with my friend and this guy saw me from outside and then he walked in and was like, hey, I don't want to interrupt, but I've never seen a girl as beautiful as you and I just had to come meet you or I just wouldn't, I just would always regret it. Who are you? That's a fucking story. That's awesome. And it's funny you bring up the, the parachute example because I joke about that on my boot camps. I, I always say, the further you go, the more effort you put in, right, the better it is. So uh, one of my instructors, Ryan, he, he once got out of a, like stopped a taxi, ran out and ran like a block and a half back and stopped a bunch of hot chicks to go, oh my God, I saw you, I had to meet you. Instant, of course, the girl was like, here's my phone number. And I joke that the, the ultimate approach ever would be like you're on a parachute, like a, a skydiving course and you're in the plane and you're flying and, and you're thinking about where you want to drop and you're on your binoculars and you see a really hot girl and you're like, you know what, I'm going to go early, I'm going to meet this chick. And you jump out of the plane and you land and you fucking almost break your leg and you roll, you fucking come in from the plane and you're just like, you know, you fucking, and you land and you're like, excuse me, I know this is totally weird, but I was just skydiving and I saw you and I had to come, you're the hottest girl I saw out of kilometers and I had to come meet you. You're getting late. All right, there's no way, there's no way you're not getting laid in that scenario. So it's funny that you brought that up. Anyway, does that make sense? Beautiful, all right. So, the top mindsets for social fear, fairly, fairly similar. Uh, people like meeting new people, okay? People do. Most people are friendly, especially in this part of the world. People like meeting new people, and you're giving them the opportunity to do that. So get out of your head and just start meeting new people. Other people have as much social fear as you. Doesn't matter how much you're like, I don't know if I want to talk to this person. Other people are standing around even more scared going, fuck, I don't know if I want to talk to anybody. So, and, and remember that, it's not just you. I know some of you guys are already like ballers, you're like, I don't need this. But for the people out there who are just like, ah, it's not just you, okay? So, practice makes perfect. So by confronting that and actually going and speaking to people, you're giving people the opportunity to actually practice their social skills and it makes the world a better place. Because you're getting more awesome, they're getting better. It's good for everybody, it's win, win. Okay, cool. So just a quick thing here, how to internalize these beliefs. So I just, like I said, I, I went out the old fashioned way and I just talked to lots and lots and lots of women, which does work, experience does work. I think it's, it's a good way to do it. Um, but generally speaking with any beliefs, just think about it. Like really meditate on this stuff, think about it. Is it does it make sense that giving a girl a compliment is something cool or being honest with women is cool or, or, or actually, you know, that women are bored? Does this stuff make sense? If it makes sense to you, adopt it. Like really adopt it, just go, yeah, you know what? I wanna live my life like that. By making a conscious decision that I wanna start doing this, um, that is a huge step to actually start kicking the crap out of your, of your anxiety. Okay, so conscious decision. Knew that was there for a reason. So acting on those beliefs, right? Going out there and talking to people, duh. Repeating those thoughts all the time, like uh, women love compliments, women love attention, women are bored. Women want sex, right? Really get obsessive over until you're just, every time you see a woman, like, she's probably bored, she's probably horny, I'm gonna go talk to her, right? Repeat that shit. Repeat the actions, right? Coming up to girls, hey, I saw you, I wanna come meet you. Uh, boom, just over and over and over. Okay, now, here's where we get into the, the bulk. That was like the warm up. Here's where we're getting into the good stuff. So the big question, what causes approach anxiety and social fear? Yes, sir. Okay, so yes, I'm looking for a more specific answer, but yes, that is, that is part of it. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's a specific word I'm looking for, a specific thing. What really, what is the root cause of this fear? Anyone but you, you know the answer, you shut your face. It's like a biochemical response. Okay, part of it, maybe. Oh man, I got a condom ready for somebody. Who wants this condom? Rejection. Yes, sir. Rejection, but sure, but what's behind all that? What's behind the, that, that fear of rejection? Yes, sir. Sure, partially. No, you're one of my students. Insecurity. You know? Insecurity, sure. Yes, sir. Fear that that rejection will cause death. Where is all this coming from? No. What part of you? I can't believe nobody's getting the one, the one word. It starts with an, it starts with an E. Erection. Ego. Ego. <laughs> yes, you get one. <laughs> you get that later. I'm just gonna make piles up here now for whoever. Okay. Great, so let's look at the next slide. Bam, the ego beast. Okay, so 
What is the ego? This is pretty much the important question in this presentation. What is an ego? Anybody? Yes, sir. Yeah, very good. So basically, your ego is your brain's idea of who you are as a man, who you are as a person. Okay? So, and whatever this idea is, we, the brain does everything it can to defend that idea. So, for example, you think, I'm a pretty cool guy, you know, girls like me. And then I walk up to you and I'm like, all right, dude, there's a smoking hot girl over there. Go and talk to her. You're going to go, um, nah, she's, she, she's not my type. Or no, she's not that hot. Or, uh, she, you know, she probably has a boyfriend. Now, where are all these thoughts coming from? They're all bullshit, right? You don't know any of that stuff. So where is that coming from? That's coming from your ego. Your ego is protecting your, you know, this idea that it has of who you are. It's saying, no, 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 no. Because if you go over there and you, and you come to this girl and you're like, hey, you're really beautiful, I want to meet you. And she goes, fuck you, you loser, get out of here. You're going to go, Aah! and you're just going to explode and, and you die. Right? That's what happens. So that's your, that's your ego. That's your ego. That's not you. You're not that person. It doesn't matter what she fucking thinks. None of that stuff matters. But your brain comes up with this concept of like who you are that is completely false. And if you get into Eckhart Tolle and all this other deep stuff, you know, which I don't have time for, but you are not your ego, and actually you're, 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 you're this immortal, wise, amazing being that is so much more than just that, what our fucking brain thinks, right? But we get caught up into this. So I want to talk a little bit about the, the ego. Bam. So, so that's what an ego is. So obviously, how does it stop us, guys? How does it control us? It stops us from doing pretty much what we want to do, right? We think a thought, and the ego defends and just, no, 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 you don't want to do that. I'm going to go and start a business. I'm going to quit my job and start a business and make millions of dollars. No, but you got a steady paycheck, and it might not work. And you know what? Just keep your job. You're doing better than most people anyway. you got a pretty good job, so even though you hate it, but you, you make money, so just don't bother, you know? Yeah, I'm this girl I'm dating. She treats me like shit, uh, and uh, she disrespects me, but, and she's not really that cool. She's okay, though, but at least I have a girlfriend. You know, at least I'm getting laid sometimes, so yeah, I'll, I won't, I'm not going to break up with her. I'll just, I'll just stick with her. Right? Any more? Right? Pretty much anything. Anything that you want to do and, and the doubts come up and they're like, no, no, you don't want to do that. That's, your, that's not you. That's your ego talking. All right? That's a little piece of your brain that's too fucking terrified to let you take a chance and actually become something greater than you are. Okay? And it's bullshit and it holds back everybody. That make sense? Okay. So, I find that this one thing keeps pretty much everybody from doing everything they want in their life. Right? It's the ego. It's you worrying about what other people are thinking. It's, it's your brain stopping you from doing what you want to do with your life, and it's fucking terrible. It, it's kind of similar also to um, uh, this other thing, which is very similar, where you, you, know, you let other people's judgments you know, affect you, obviously. So, you know, so a lot of guys are like, oh, there's a hot girl, but if I go talk to her, all oh, those people are going to see, and they're going to gonna see I got rejected. And then again, you're, you know, pe people live their entire lives just worrying about what other people are thinking. You know, and it's really terrifying. Uh, you know, in in some places are, are worse. Like for example, India. Uh, I had one student who literally, because he decided, I'm not going to do an arranged marriage. I'm going to go out there and get good with girls, and I'm going to do what I want to and live my life. He doesn't. He's not allowed to talk to his family anymore. He's been blacklisted. He's done. He, he literally picked my happiness over, you know, over his his whole family because there's that much oppression, and, there, and everybody's just living their lives, limiting themselves based on other people's opinions. It's fucking horrible. Okay, so. Blink. How do we how do we deal with this? So this is where we're going into. So I got some mindsets, and then I'm going to get into my formula for basically destroying approach anxiety and social fear, and how to do it. So some mindsets here. In reality, nobody gives a shit about you. Okay, this is really big. Guys are like, oh, I can talk to her, and people will, will see me. No one gives a fuck about you. I I don't know like how to really put this across. If you actually look around, all the people walking around doing their stuff, doing their business. You could do anything you want to, and I make my students do some really crazy shit, like screaming things on the street and flipping out and running around like with their shirts off. No one cares. People literally will just be like, no one cares. Everyone is too busy in their bubble of worrying about their thoughts and their problem and their ego and worried about what their parents think, what everybody else thinks. No one gives a flying shit about you at all. Nothing. Nothing. But everyone goes, oh, no, I can't, I can't do that. People are going to, you know, it's ridiculous. So the truth is, no one cares about you. That's actually really empowering because you could just do whatever you want to. Maybe your mother. And, that, and then only about half the time. So, just saying. Okay. So, the only person that really, whose opinion really matters is you. This sounds really obvious, but this can take a lifetime to really develop, to get to that point where you're just like, I know what I want, I know who I am, 
fuck everyone else. If you can just get to that point, your whole life's going to be awesome. Seriously. I mean, and that might take years. It might take years. It might take you to 30, 40, 50. It might take you your whole life. But this is really what you want to be shooting for. And this is, and my formula is really going to help you guys get there. Okay? And, I, and I'd say again, that destroys everybody trying to live to other people's expectations, trying to do what other people want you to do. It's fucking horrific. I went on a date once with this beautiful girl. She was, uh, she was Chinese, and I'm talking to her, and she's so hot. She had this great body, and we're just hanging out. And I'm just like, yeah, so I want to know more about you. Tell me more about you. And she and she's reveals that uh, she's like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a doctor. And I'm like, OK, uh, do you? Actually, no, it wasn't a doctor. It was a lawyer. I asked her, I said, what do you want? She goes, I want to be a lawyer. And I'm like, OK, do you, do you like laws and interesting for you? And she's like, no, I don't really like it. But you're spending years and years and years and all this money to become a lawyer. I'm like, what do you want to be? And she's like, oh, I want to have a health shop. And I'm like, why are you going to be a lawyer? And she's like, oh, it's to please my parents. My parents want me to be a lawyer. And I'm like, that's fucking crazy. You're ruining your whole life for what your parents want you to do. That doesn't make any sense. She's like, Asian parents. I was like, what? <laughs> but it's not Asian parents. It's just. For, well, I'd say many things, but destroying your fears as a man. If you have trouble approaching, meeting women, or working through some issue in your life, Sasha Daygame is the man to talk to. Come on stage, my man. Let's right. do it. Awesome. Listen to that. And so, yeah, there's many paths, but try and pick the path that's going to serve you in the long run. I goes, no, all right, forget the baby. How about a date? We'll start slow, OK? Simple, effective, <laughs> great. OK, so this is, this is huge here. I, lo I love this. This is like one of the most important things I've been teaching for years and years and years and years and years. And people used to have, they pay a lot of money for this, so pay attention. <laughs>